Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 200k Nightfall guide for a Garden World. We're doing this for the Solstice of Heroes event. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've actually this. I'm recording this, showing you this immediately after completing the Nightfall. So I've got it completed on the helm. Uh, we're doing this with Voidwalker, uh, Devour subclass, bottom tree of the subclass. We've got Extinguished Ma Momentum, Match Game, and Void, uh, Void Singe with a 2.10. Power handicap given as a five score multiplier. So, I was reluctant about doing this because when you take match uh, heavyweight off, if you don't have something like uh, the mountaintop, which is like I think it's the third best DPS in the game, boss damage DPS. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen a, a, a graph of the top ten and the mountaintop is third. It isn't affected by by heavyweight, so you'll still be able to do major damage to the bosses, leaving you with your heavy, energy, and super to deal with adds. So because I don't have the mountain top, because I just don't like the length of the quest, it's too much time playing with grenade launchers and crucible. Uh, I'm glad they're fit. I'm glad they're shortening it, but uh, what I what I had was this this. Uh, the the primary sniper from the vanguard so i've got a boss spec on it and that's what i'll be trying to do dps with we are using the recluse and the reason i'm using recluse is because the other reason i nearly nearly gave up on doing this is because i don't like this play style what you kind of have to do is do it quickly you've got to get through each section pretty rapidly while staying alive which is i tested a whole heap of different subclasses uh, and Devour was the best. It was it was the best for the Warlock. Uh, so so this is the run. Now, the Infinite Forest is purely RNG. Uh, the only kind of tips I can give you for this, for, for the Infinite Forest, is try and scan each area as you go in. You'll do three areas before you get, get to the portal that you see in the background. You'll do three areas. When you get to the third area, there'll be two Cyclopses each side of the stairs. They will be able to start shooting you from there. So sometimes, depending on how close the second one is, they they will they will they can shoot you from maybe maybe farther away. So just be aware of that. When you get your Nova, if you come up against ogres, ogres you can snipe from further away. But if you come up against, uh, like I just did, a Hydra or a bunch of Hive Knights, try not to burn your heavy. Even though you know. You kind of have to sometimes, but try not to burn it. As you can see, I don't have a lot of heavy. I never rallied a flag for this run because I was kind of hopeful that I would get enough heavy, which I obviously did. Although the heavy that the, the Thunderlord you're going to be using really is for ad clearance. It doesn't do a lot of damage against bosses. It certainly is no good for this and for this boss, and neither is the neither is your Nova. But I'll explain that as we get further on. So just assess the area before you go into it. Don't swallow a grenade. If I think it's like five ads gets you a grenade back. Don't consume your grenade if you don't have five ads back because keeping a grenade is imperative because that is going to keep you alive. As you can see, I can see red on my map. I know I'm going to be hitting this area, so Devour is going to keep me alive here. You do, kind of a side thing is, don't become over-reliant on Devour to save you. Don't think you can just go running in and kill everything and Devour will save you. It doesn't always work like that. Pick and choose your targets carefully. So that's the infinite forest. So while we're, while you're seeing the gameplay on here, as you can see, I'm just consuming grenades. Five kills gets you your grenade back. So as long as you can get five kills, you'll get another grenade. A little word about where I've been for the past three, four weeks. I haven't ditched the game, as you can see, sorry, I will just interject on myself there, as you can see, we are now in in uh, firing range of the Cyclopses, so now I'm going to take them out, so it's, I think it's, if I could hit crits, <laughs> it would be three crits to take down the boss. Now it was only two crits there because, as you can see, I have Rampage procced. So anyway, I've been working on another challenge. Anybody that's a, a follower of the channel will probably have an idea of what sort of challenge I've been doing since it's, it should have took me three weeks to complete. So I've been working on that. I haven't left the game. 
uh, I just wanted to do something different. So I had to stop it for the Solstice of Heroes event and actually wish I hadn't have done the Warlock first. But it is what it is. So I'm back. Weekly content. More than likely till October now, not September. So uh, I hope you guys haven't haven't thought I'd abandoned you or anything like that. I haven't abandoned you, I promise. Anyway, when you come out of here, you're looking for... It's a, a good time is about four, four, four and a half minutes. And you're looking for between 50 and 60 thou. Anywhere between there, you can make work. Now, my suggestion is... And, and I test, as I say, I, I really did test this. And, as I say, nearly give up on it because... The mountaintop just... Ugh, I should have went for it, you know, when I started it. I think I got halfway through the quest and just couldn't be bothered with it anymore. Because it doesn't suffer from heavyweight. It will still do with that boss spec spike grenade. Uh, it will still do a lot of damage. It's, as I say, third. It's the next closest primary, I think, is the outbreak. And the outbreak is 10th, 12th. Mountain top does more than most rocket launchers because of its fire rate, spike grenades, all the rest of it. So I really nearly gave up on this. Now, I decided to stay with it. And I'm glad I did because we got it. When you get to a section, if you get the, the cabal, I would honestly urge you to, to stop and restart it if you're doing this solo. This setup works a ton better for the Vex because we are gearing for just arc. And, and void so when you get to that area cl clear the ads out as I say when we got to that first area with the shield the first shield if you can shoot the harpies that are around the box that kind of controls the shield their explosions will take the box out I obviously never managed to do it that time I normally do do it when you get here just be mindful of that hydro you want to take the hydro out but be mindful so this is the first real real piece of strategy the rest of it is you have to be quick but don't be reckless right so when you get here ignore these ads when you get into the bubble consume your grenade i've got my heavy out and what we're going to do drop the box jump up nova and we're going to put a little bit on and then we're going to go now what we're hoping for is that my nova will take out because we've still got devour active Whilst we've got Devourer active, we're just going to kill as many of these as we can, and then we're going to throw a grenade at the group. Now, what we're, what's going to happen now, as you can see, the grenade will keep proccing. Kills from the grenade will keep proccing Devourer, so you can, you know, multitask. As long as you're getting the kills, especially with these ads, just as you can see, I'm just trying to keep moving. There is no, if you stand here and just shoot everything, you'll be fine. This isn't that sort of run. And I, my apologies, you have to do it like this. You have to be fast, but you have to be efficient. So when we drop down here, you're going to have three snipers. We're going to take those out so that we're not having to worry about stray shots. A little bit of damage on these harpies. As you can see, I'm trying to save as much heavy. You need to try and save as much heavy as possible. So I'm trying to multitask. As you can see there, the lightning effect took the, took the two harpies and the two hobgoblins. Break the shield on, on, on this uh, harpy. And then what we're going to do from here is jump straight up here behind this wall. Make sure you're fully reloaded. And then when these ads come, consume your grenade. There'll be, five, there'll be enough ads here to get a grenade back. And then the, the goblins will have spawned behind. So you can just start taking those out. And as you can see... We can just stand here. We've got a bit of cover. So we're confident we're going to get kills anyway. So I'm, I'm just going to burn that grenade. Move to the second pillar. Make sure you've took all of those. And now when you start shooting, there's two of these. There's, there's one elite and one normal. Right? When you shoot at them, because they're minotaurs, they'll come after you. That's kind of what you want to happen. You want them to come after you so you can stay in cover. Now there's just two goblins, and we'll just finish those off. Now, for people that are going to say in the comments, ah, but, you know, I don't have the recluse. This is a 200k nightfall. You're not coming in here with a sidearm. You kind of have to use 
Now, I can understand people saying about the mountain top because the recluse is a little bit easier to get, I feel, than the mountain top. Right, so again, we're going to drop the box. We're going back into a relative amount of cover. Throw the Nova, as you can see, I took the Minotaur and the boss. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and snipe these two. But first, as I was saying, Minotaur's push you. And that's kind of what we want. So I'm just moving back. I don't want him to get too close. But as soon as you get him down, you can proc Devour from your melee as well. So what we want to bring this second sniper, because if, the great thing about uh, Master at Arms, which is the Recluse's perk, is it, pro it procs from any weapon kills. So if you get a, a kill with a separate weapon, not only do you proc mass, uh, when you pull out your when you pull out your uh, recluse, well, you have uh, the, the the perk propped, but you can actually leave pulling the recluse out for two, three, four seconds, so you can make ground up towards your towards your targets, and then pull recluse out, and it will proc. Don't leave it too long because I think it is it's a couple of seconds. It's not a long time. So we know we've got a ton of ads here, and we've, we've got the Cabal here. Now, getting the Cabal in these areas is good, because you do score more points from the Cabal. So getting a couple of Cabal in the run is always a good thing. If, you, if, you've, got to, if you've got to deal with solar, those Solar Centurions, then I would suggest start the run again. I, I really would, because even though you can take the Solar Shields down, it's just not, it's not a repeatable thing. To do with an arc and an arc heavy so now when you get the cabal there 99 percent of the time you're going to get the cabal up here which is good because it, it you have to deal with those exploders which is good but it brings all the ads out so when you come up here the harpies are out the snipers are out so we are going to burn a little bit more heavy than i would have liked but that's fine we're hoping to get some so we'll pull a sniper out that once we reload there's going to be another couple of snipers. We want to take them, and then all we're going to have to deal with, all we're going to have to deal with after that, is the ads up by the boss. As you can see, can't snipe worth a damn. It's because they bend down the crit spot is, isn't shown when they're going to throw the grenades. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and activate this box, activate all the ads, and then move back. Get back behind this pillar here, proc a grenade, and now what I like to do, we're going to throw one over here and try and catch the boss, and there we go. So now we don't have the boss roaming about. So what I like to do is I like to pick a smaller ad, not a, not a tanky ad, a smaller ad when at all possible to proc the, the recluse's uh, master master arms because the the time to kill when it's propped is is insane. So as you can see, if you put shots on the minotaurs, they'll come after you. So you could you, you know you don't have to put yourself into dangerous positions trying to kill them. Although I am gonna say this is a dangerous position. So when you get here, swallow your grenade into the corner, put down a rift, and proc the master arms. Take this minotaur that's in front of you. Take a, a bit of that. Now go up. Now as you can see, Devour really is saving us. Within the, you know, we've got the well. We've got Devour. You need to clear the two Minotaurs, right? So now we're, we've been hit by quite a bit. But once you start hitting this uh, Hydra with 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 the the Thunderlord, they don't like it. The Hydra is worth points, real points. So the Minotaurs. So you kind of want to deal with that. You don't have to. But you just make things a little bit more difficult. So as you can see, we're at about 13, we've got about a minute, minute and 20 seconds to score points. This is where, and I have to say this, without the mountaintop, this is where you're handicapped. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out these ads that appear. Now, taking out the ads is kind of what, I, what I'm trying to do is, yeah, I, I want a free run at the boss. I only want to put a couple of shots on them to get the next... The next wave of ads out, so we'll put four on him. Now, my my sniper has nothing, no real, no real uh, perks to speak of. It's got rampage, but it's got field prep, which is good. If you can get 
for stuff like this, if you can get a field prep, uh, if you can get a field prep triple tap, really good. Put a boss back on it and, and that'll do. So we're going to stay here because the boss hasn't moved. So what we're going to do is we're going to put four more snipes on him. And that should get him to get on his bike. Now, he's going to move around. He always moves in the same same kind of rotation. So we're going to try and proc the master at arms. He's moving all the way around so we can use this cover. Which, don't get don't get too tight to the cover. So you can see where, where the cover changes to. Right? As you can see, the cover changes. So you can move with the cover. He will stay in this position because, like I say, and I don't want to keep going on about it. Although, it does it annoys me that the, the mountaintops become a skill gap. Any weapon that becomes a skill gap annoys me. Because it shouldn't be like that. Prop another another grenade. Now, your devour lasts for 10 seconds. I'm saying this for people that maybe don't know. I know most of you guys will know, but if you don't know, it lasts for 10 seconds. Five kills gets you another grenade. So what we're going to do is we're going to get forward, use this block, and we can just step back. And now, because we've got Luna factions on, we're going to just keep hitting them. So we've got them, you know, have a little look. We've got them under half. You kind of need to get them as low as you can. I can't stress that enough that this is a really difficult run without the mountaintop. This is a really difficult run without the mountaintop. So what we do, you know, underneath the boss, you will always have these two elites, which are points. And as you can see, now we've got a 2.5 score modifier because we've went under the 15 minutes. So we just need to stay above the 200,000. We've had, we've got the 200,000. We just need to stay above it. So for some strange reason, I, 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 I was trying to get my sniper out. So what we're going to do is use one Nova on this guy. And for anybody that's wondering why I didn't keep the Nova... There is a very good reason for that. Just like Vortex Grenades, they don't register against this boss. So you'll get a hit register, but that is it. And as you can see, I dropped heavy ammo. So now that we've done this, right, what we're going to do is we're going to jump up here. This is an old strap from year one that we used to use when we used rockets. So I'm just going to pump a heap of Thunderlord into his crit spot. As you can see, then I'm going to put the rift down. Which reloads, and then I'm going to take down the Minotaur. And then I'm going to put more into the boss. He's moving away, which is perfect. I just empty it, and then straight to the sniper. Two, three, four. And as soon as I see him firing that, I'll get out there. I'll reload, get into cover. As you can see, and then he's going to keep moving. A couple of more shots, and he's dead. That is how to complete the, a nightfall, 200k nightfall, without the mountain top or any, you know, that's that's about the weapon at the moment, isn't it? Everybody uses it. So if you don't have it, that's how to do it. I hope that's helped. I hope that helps you complete it, either as solo, as part of a team. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. You know I appreciate your viewership, as always. Stay tuned. Next week I'll have a, a run on the Shattered Throne, because that's another piece of the masterwork. And I will see you guys in the next video.